Hey, it's Scott from WordPress Freestyle, and today we're going to be talking plugins. Let's get started. So, the last video I created was this coffee house website. And so, the first thing that you want to do once you have a house, uh, website created is go to plugins. So, you want to go dashboard. Plugins, add new plugin. And then you want to protect your website from security issues. And the top one is WordFence. So go ahead and click on that. See, it's got over a million installs. So let's go ahead and click that. Activate plugin. Here you want to put in your email. And it'll let you know if there's anything that happens suspicious on your on your page. Okay. I'm gonna tell you to exit out of the uh, tour because I'm going to run you through the tour. Okay? So what we're going to want to do now is under WordFence in our sidebar here, we want to go down to Options. First thing it asks you here is, do you want WordFence to update automatically? And you want to click Yes on that. WordFence is completely free. Uh, you can upgrade to do some different features for five dollars a month. It's not a bad option. Um, I've had sites that have gotten attacked by certain countries. You can block specific countries and some advanced spam filtering. But uh, with SiteGround, SiteGround comes with a spam filtering. Uh, for an extra dollar a month. So for $12 a year, you can get spam, spam filtering through your hosting company. So this is $5 a month. So that would cost you $60 a year. Or you can buy it $12 a year for from SiteGround. Okay. So here again, it's asking you where you want your alerts sent. So you go ahead and put your email right there and you hit save changes. Okay. Then you come down here. There's a couple things that you want to change. How many times do you want to lock out or lock out after how many login failures? And I say to myself, because I keep track of all my usernames and passwords there's no reason why I should get it wrong three times so I change these to three times lock out after how many forgotten password attempts and I also put that at three times this is count failures at what period so that would be five minutes so if they keep trying and keep trying and keep trying it's not gonna work this one says amount of time the user is locked out and that should be as long as you can get so 60 days but because if you happen to lock yourself out and I've done it a couple times but if you happen to lock yourself out it gives you a link that says if you're the administrator click here okay and it sends you an email that's why you put an email in there Okay. You can option to immediately lock out someone who does any username, but there's always a chance that somebody could type something wrong, so I never click that. Don't let WordPress reveal valid users in login errors. So these are all kept the way that they're supposed to. Now it says immediately block the IP of users who try to sign in with these usernames. And what people try and do is they try and get into your website by using 
vague usernames and passwords. So, like for for this particular instance, if I didn't put anything in here, they would try and attack using the word coffee house because I have that as the name of the as the name of the website. So people would think that the username is coffee house and then once they have half of it then it's a game on how they can get the rest of it so the number one thing that people try and do is admin and if there's any uh, guys out there trying to hack my stuff um, I do have mine showing here but I also have a bazillion long uh, email or a bazillion long password so I say uh, I'm okay and I also change this stuff from time to time so even though you see certain things like you see my email and you see uh, usernames I change them on a regular basis so for this one I'm gonna do admin and I'm gonna do coffee house and the coffee house Okay, so if anybody uses these three things, uh, they will immediately be blocked for the 60 days. Okay? And that's all I do. Okay? Now, let's just walk through each one. So it scan, what it does is it will scan your website. Okay, so we can start that right now. It don't take very long. So it's checking for malware, heart bleed. All these other things that they've already already found problems with with WordPress installs all around the world. Okay, so this website's clean. So cool. So then live traffic. This can get kind of interesting. I try not to let a lot of it bother me because there is a lot of traffic. Like I have, I do a lot of local websites, and see, this hasn't had anything yet. I just built it today, but um, I have some local websites, and they get people from all over the world that that are on here, and I want to say that they're on here because I'm wanting to cause problems so it's glad I'm glad that I have uh, this plugin to protect my websites I've been pretty fortunate so the next one is performance setup um, this is to replace your cache so if you don't have a cache plugin right now um, you can use their basic caching um, on here. Here again I have caching through SiteGround. Okay. So if somebody tries to log into my account using the uh, username admin it'll show up right here under blocked IPs. Okay. And then what I do and I'm not going to show you this because I want this to be kind of a short video. But what then what I do is there's a thing that you can do on your cPanel where you can block this. Like right now I've got about 25 different websites. And if I go to my hosting company and put in this blocked IP, it protects all 25 of my websites against that IP address. So that's what I do. Um, I don't do anything with password or cell phone or country blocking. These things are premium 
I don't do anything. Scan schedule is premium also. Uh, who is lookup is premium. And advanced blocking is premium. So that's it. So now your site should be protected. So every website that you ever create, the first thing that you should ever put on it is WordFence. Thank you for the time and have a great day.